hello to my YouTube friends. So, somebody kindly reminded us of something today with the uh, comment they put on one of my cancer related videos. Um, basically saying that I should carry on making them for the fact is it's like almost like a cheap form of therapy. So thank you Michelle because you made us remember that one of the things I've, I've, I was going through for a while um, was some therapy through the fact is that they were worried about me depression getting really bad and stuff like that you know and that maybe I might become daft enough to want to commit suicide or something like that you know because obviously they know that it can happen you know that people can't get to that state and really affect them so badly I'm lucky in that respect is that, you know, it's never getting that bad for us, you know. Yes, there's been times when there's sort of the, not so much the idea of the contemplation on how I would do it all, yeah, but just the fact is that it's entered my mind as to whether I should or shouldn't, you know. And it's just been a case that I've just went, ah, it's just the way you're feeling right now, Morgan, you know, just get on with it, you'll be fine. Um, I was going, like I say, I was going through therapy. For it, um, um, I can't remember whether it's, it's psychologist or psychiatrist or whatever the hell it is through the hospital that they had us through. But for me, it's it's not good. It's it's not a good therapy at all to me. You know, you got to remember, I studied hypnotherapy. I've studied neuro linguistic programming. I've studied life coaching. And they're all pretty sort of hands-on approaches to stuff to try and help people through things so for me psychology and psychiatry or whatever the, it is is just bollocks <laughs> to me it's bollocks to others yes i can understand where it might help obviously the likes of your consultants and your nurses and things like that they may need somebody that they just need to offload something on and don't need any sort of thingy back from it they just need to offload something to get something out of the system to get something off that chest or whatever it is just to just offload and i think for that type of thing they may be yeah that they're, they're probably quite handy to have around but for somebody that needs what you may feel like is guidance help to adjust to something or whatever to me it's the, the, the bollocks the crap they are no fucking good whatsoever, you know. Um, I've been twice under the one. The first time was obviously when I lost me beard, and that really had a dramatic effect on us, as, as some of you would have seen from the, if you watched the previous videos about when I lost me beard. Um, and basically his thing he was, I was basically telling me, I look, you know, everything I know is tied up in my beard. I've had it since I was fucking. 19 20 21 something like that and you know it's it's been a big part of my life it's been a big part of who i am it, it's part of the persona of what i am on a, online you know i was known at work as the fucking bearded off by some people you know i became thinking as the bearded nerdy off on the on the youtubes and what have you and i've, I've had a beard pretty much since i was fucking in my sort of late teens early 20s yeah, um, so it, 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 I was tied up in that thing. He, in his basically approach was was like, uh, it seems like everything seems to be tied up in this idea of you having a beard, in that you know you're you losing the beard has made you become lost in your in who you are, and you don't know who you are, and stuff like that. I'm like, I've just fucking told you that. You're fucking repeating back to me just what I've just told you. I know that me thing is tied up that. I know I feel lost. I've just fucking told you that I feel lost about this thing. Yeah, and, he goes, and it seems to me like if, if you gain your beard back, then you'll be possibly be a lot more thingy and feel a lot better and, and be able to look in the mirror again and not feel as bad and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, are you fucking joking me, Paul? You just, I already know this shit. I already, I don't need you to tell me this. You're not giving me any in, in, insight. You're not giving me any new things. You're not telling me how to cope with the fact that I've got no beard. You're not telling me how it is 
I should, I'm, I'm going to be able to cope in the future if my beard does not grow back. You're just telling me what I already fucking know. What the fuck's the point in this? I quit his after, I think, one, two sessions. Just went, nah, fuck that, mate. You're just, you're annoying us. Because you're just repeating back to us what I'm fucking telling you. And I already know this shit. I don't need that. I don't need you fucking repeating it back to us. That's just bollocks. This next guy I saw, obviously the, you know, the nurses, the consultants have said, look, you know, I would like to get you in for another thingy. Would you give this person a go? And I can't look, I will. But I guarantee you, if he starts just repeating back to me what I'm telling them, I'll quit the sessions because that's just fucking bollocks. I'm not having somebody getting paid fucking big money to do jack shit to help me out. You know, I'm not gonna have I'm not gonna have somebody using my thingy as a way of fucking making money for nothing. It's not happening. So I went in open minded. I went in open minded. I gave him the chance. I think I had three sessions with this guy, and he, he wasn't so much repeating things back to us. Which was good, not in the way the other fucker did, but it was still a case of for me. There was no insight. There was no thing. There was nothing he was doing that would help me to get through what I'm getting through. He was basically. It felt like when I would say to him, oh, I'm I'm going to be trying to do this. I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to do that." It was like almost he was patting us on the head. Good. Good boy, good boy, that that might work, that just might be the type of thing that you need to be doing in order to help you think, and I'm thinking, I fucking already know this, otherwise I wouldn't be fucking doing it. Yeah, didn't fucking pat me on the heel like I'm a good little fucking boy, and say, yes, that might just fucking work. It might work, it might not work, and I already know that, that's why I'm fucking trying it. I wouldn't have been doing it if I didn't think it was going to fucking work. Yeah, or if I didn't sort of have in my head that there's a possibility if I do this, this may have this effect on us. I think, yeah. He, he, again, he just wasn't fucking coming up with the goods as far as I was concerned. If it's there to fucking have me have an insight into myself, I don't need that bollocks. I can do that on my fucking own. I don't need to fucking have some daft bugger telling me, oh yeah, that sounds like a fucking good idea. I'm just going to do shit anyway and see what fucking happens. Yeah. As long as I think it might be something that to work, I'll fucking give it a go. And if it doesn't work, I knock it on the head and I go on to the next fucking thing. But I don't need some twat fucking tapping me on the heel going, good boy, you're a good lad, that might just fucking do the trick. And get paid big money fucking to do that. Fuck that shit. So to me, psychiatrists or psychologists or whatever the f they are, are a waste of fucking space when it comes to that type of thingy. Like I say, I am not going to knock them for the fact is that if you're somebody that just needs to talk and get things off your chest, then yes, they are probably ideal for that. Yet yeah, they're getting paid a lot of money for doing it. That I'm not too fucking thinking about. You know, I was brought up with the thing of neuro linguistic programming, which is something that you, you do to help somebody get through something. It's it's a it's not so much a therapy as it's a fucking way of changing something. Hypnotherapy is the same, and life coaching is the same. You give people ideas on how to fucking help change things over. You put a lot of different things in their thingy to say, what about this? What about this? What about this? What about that? Different ways of thinking, just like me, just like what my videos as far as I hope is happening. That when I put out, look, this is how I dealt with this. This is probably a different way of thinking about it. See how this works for you, if it's thingies. Yeah? You don't have to use it. It's not going to be good for everybody. But it's a different way of thinking. It's a different way of looking at something. It's a different aspect for you to try. That's what I hope my videos do. It, it makes you see that there's a, a different approach, possibly, to what the thingies are. But for me... Seeing a, a psychiatrist or a psychologist, like I say, I don't remember which it is. I, I, I'm not particularly thinking because it's just one of those things. For me personally, that is my opinion of it. I do not like that, not them so much because they're probably great people. But the idea of how they go about doing it, I do not like. Yeah, it's like a lot of the physiotherapy you'll get these days they are not hands-on they will give you a bunch of exercises to do for yourself 
I am a weightlifter. I know fucking how to stretch. I know how to think. I might not know the exact thing to do for but if a particular area. They might be able to tweak things and make things slightly different to the ones that I'll know. But I'll know how to stretch off. I know how to fucking thingy a, a muscle off. What I need when I get to see a physiotherapist is the fact is that if it's a freaking muscular thingy, I need somebody to be fucking hands on to get in there and break it fucking down so that it can repair. Okay? Like a mass masseuse. That is what you fucking need. That is what you need to be going for. If you've got a so it's a shoulder joint injury or you've got a, a, a nerve has popped over the top of one of your thingies and it's it's being squeezed and it's giving you pains or you're losing feel in your arms. You want something to get in there and manoeuvre that particular thing back into the right position straight away and then give you exercises to do to help either keep it there or thingy. That's my opinion on it, on things like that. You, know? you want hands-on approach. You want somebody to be able to be fucking seen to be doing something to help you, not just fucking sitting there giving you a bunch of shit to do yourself, nah. and the psychologist is even worse because they don't even give you a bunch of shit to do, yeah, I apologise there guys, you just literally went off on me, my actual phone overheated and switched itself off, now that is when it was inside of a proper Samsung sold samsung made case and it the phone overheated and switched itself off Ooh. and this is it an s21 ultra so let's hope it doesn't keep on happening otherwise it's going to be going back because i bought it directly from samsung um anyway guys like i say you know i'm not going to say they're not good for everybody because there's going to be people who will get a benefit from them so I won't knock them in that respect. What I'm knocking them for is for how I feel about them and how I feel they trap me. And the fact that for me, I feel that when you're going for treatment or when you're going for some sort of thing, you need a hands-on approach. You need somebody to be doing something that makes you feel like you're getting somewhere. And with that, I didn't feel like I was getting anywhere. I just felt patronised. I felt freaking belittled. You know, they didn't think, you know, and I don't think they meant to make us feel belittled. I just, it, it felt almost like I was getting patted on the head and being told I was a good boy for attempting this stuff or for still carrying on going and, and, and doing things and coming out with things for myself. And I, I didn't need that. I didn't need to be thingy like that, you know. I mean, do I look like I'm somebody that needs to be freaking patted on the head? For fuck's sake, I've had this cancer and I've never once asked for anybody's thingy about it you know what i mean i'm just i get on with it i deal with it i just think it you know people are going to find it hard to believe possibly that when i was told i had a cancer there was no massive reaction from us i didn't break down and cry or anything like that so just like oh right okay what's next what do i do next what's what do we thinking when i was told i was terminal i didn't break down i didn't have any tears i didn't thingy it was like oh right okay so no i'll set myself some goals and think it yeah i'm not like your other people i'm gonna fucking i'm gonna sort of you you say that this thing i, I won't last this long or whatever you know i'll prove you wrong i'll i'll, I'll beat it i'll think it no worries at all just the same as that when they've come and like i say the kind of the couldn't exactly say it was you know yeah no longer terminal it was more like a a, a sideways way of doing it but even when I got to it last I was like oh right it's okay um, where do I go from here what do I do now where, what's my next step what's my next stage and that's and that's where I'm at now I'm at the thing of like well you know, what do I do now what's my next step what's my next stage what what do I go through what do I do what, where am I left at here you know Am I going to be able to get another job? Is anyone going to be able to employ us? And all that type of stuff goes from here, which you've seen in the previous video. So I'm not going to go back over that. You go and watch them videos <laughs> that are there. Um, so anyway, guys, you know, that's just my little rant. So thanks, Michelle, for bringing it forward and reminding us about that, because I don't think I've even mentioned it before. Or maybe I don't even know if I've mentioned it in a previous video when I had the therapy sort of back in the day about my beard. 
I can't remember whether I mentioned it at all, whether, whether I even put it in the book or not, I can't even remember, yeah. So, uh, thanks for that one, Michelle, and uh, there you go, that's my little rant about the thing. So, <laughs> they say they're probably good for some people. I've got an issue, if you, if you feel they're doing you good, great, carry on seeing them, carry on getting the benefit of it. I've got no issue with that, that's everybody's choice. For me, I quit mine, because it was like, Nah, you're not Dean Bugger all, but making me fucking... I, I don't feel any better for speaking to you. I don't feel any difference for speaking to you. I don't feel like I'm getting anywhere. Where you, I'm not going to have you making money off of my back for doing fuck all, for not making me feel any different to what I already feel. So you're, you're wasting your time with me. You might as well be on with somebody else that you might be able to do some benefit for. That's the way I look at things. If I don't feel like you're going to do any benefit to me, get yourself away again. Be with somebody else that you might be benefit to. Because you're not doing any benefit to me, and you know, so I'm just wasting your time, and you're wasting mine, and I don't want to do that. So there you go, guys. That's another little quick video. That's quite a few you've had in a short period of time. So you might not see any of these type of videos for a while now, depending on whether something else gets reminded to us, and I end up doing a quick video that way. Like the thing you do, you can see I'm in the car at the minute. Um, that's because my daughter's down at hospital at the minute. She's um, having a few tests run um, she asked me to bring her down here and sit and wait for her to, to get out so I can take her home so that's why you can see her sitting in the car and that's why I thought I would do this quick video while I sort of have the opportunity and sit and waiting for her to come out after having her tests done so anyway guys those that watched thank you so much I really do appreciate it and, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart I do appreciate anyone that watches because there ain't a great deal of you that day. Yeah, I'm probably get on average for these type of videos I might get thirty views or so for me videos on me characters I might get about twenty views. So I really appreciate those that do view them and I will catch us in the next one. This is the Bearded Nerdy Wolf and I am out of here.